today I wanted to show you how to build a very basic robot that's going to follow you around and this is going to be using fonts unit baser as well as the unit hubs and a little bit of logic it's nothing too extreme but it is something that I found to be kind of helpful and if you guys know how to build a vehicle that has object detection and avoidance you can use this to pretty much fully automate most things so to show you how to do it nice and easy nice and basic Right, so in all honesty, it's really kind of easy. The way that I set it up might not be the most efficient way or the best way, but it's a little bit of what works for me. So starting off, I'm just going to stick four corners down and get some wheels and suspension on the four corners. I have no idea where I've just put that over right angle. Never mind. Now, because we're using fans mods... We don't need to do anything magic with bearings and double bearings and all this sort of stuff because we have a basic controller, which is super helpful. So I'm going to show you how we're going to set this up. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we want our battery pack. We're going to stick a battery pack down. Then we're going to stick an engine. And we're going to need two engines, one for the left-hand side and one for the right-hand side. And then we're going to use these magic controllers. Again, one for the left and one for the right. Now, what these controllers do, we hook this up to the engine... If I give this controller two inputs, we'll see what happens when we connect the second input. It says we need to paint it a different colour, basically. So if I get my paint tool and paint one of these a different colour, we'll paint this one blue. What this is going to do is this switch is going to go into this controller, which will go into this motor, and it will activate this wheel. So if I press one switch, take it off the lift, you'll see that we're going forwards. Now if I turn this off and press this other switch you see that it actually goes backwards. So what this lets us do is sort of tank steering without having too many bearings and doing anything wonderfully magic. So that is where we are there. And all we got to do is squeeze towards the center. It doesn't have to be towards the center, I guess. But for me, it's where I like to put it. Our unit facer. And then we're going to have our unit hubs. And then, of course, we need a switch in order to turn this on. So that's what this switch will be. Now we've got to hook up the unit facer, which is obviously switch into unit facer, and then the batteries into the unit facer. And then I'm going to go out to the unit hubs, and I get set one to the right, and one to the left. So what happens here, paint the switch red, and then we turn the switch on, and you'll see it says it's detecting player. Now if I stand to the right, you'll see that this right block turns on. If I stand to the left, you'll see the left block turns on. This is what we're going to use to steer our vehicle. Now, what I've done over here is I've only used four logic, nice and simple. I've got an AND gate, and I've got an XOR gate for each hub. We've got our AND gate, and we've got the XOR gate. So we've got an AND gate, and we've got that XOR gate. So with your AND gate and your XOR gate sat down, what you do then is take your hub, put it into the opposing things and then what we're doing here with the XOR gate hit the switch as well what that means is it won't sort of keep running while your switch is on then what you do XOR into the controller AND gate into the controller same again XOR and controller and the AND gate and controller and for this one what we're saying is when the AND gate is on that's when we want the engine to do the opposite thing so hopefully that should be that so if i now excuse me if i now hook up my engines to their appropriate sides and connect the controllers we should all being well when we want to spin to the right you'll see these right hand side wheels are going backwards and the left hand side wheels are going forwards Likewise, if we go to the left, left hand side's going backwards, right's going forwards. And when we're in front, both sets of wheels will be going forwards. That is basically it. That is the most basic way that you can do this and set these up. At the minute, if it comes right up to us, it'll come too close to us, and it'll just carry on going. And it'll give us a little bit of a nudge all the way through. You can sort of alter that by putting a sensor down. And all I did on the other one was again I just literally hooked up those sensors to those XORs so that when it got within range of us you see it stops now that's all well and good but the only problem you got there is when it's off obviously it then flips the XORs over so it does actually move so there's a little bit of work there to be done on the logic but for me personally this 
works for me. So all you got to do then is just balance your motor speed where you want it. So we turn it up a bit. And then if we turn the switch on, we walk away. It gets a little bit quicker. Go run over here and it'll follow us. It'll follow us all the way around. Now this might be handy for you if you know what you're doing in terms of uh, logic. You might be able to build a vehicle because, let me show you. In the craft pot over here, under the unit facer, in the information, if you scroll towards the bottom, you've got all the different colors. And this is where it gets fun because it tells you that you can get light orange aims at rocks, light yellow aims at trees, light green aims at the refine rods, which means you could pretty much automate three little vehicles that go out, hunt down trees, chop them up, hunt down rocks, break them up, and then finally hunt down the little legs and stuff, and it'll be able to pick it up and harvest it. In fact, I will show you that. So over there, in the distance, there's a haybot leg. So if I get light green, which I think is this one, and I spray this and turn it on, it says rods. So now, trundle for the rods. Now, like I say, we don't have any detection and avoidance. So unfortunately, it's just going to keep on trundling through everything. But if you're smart with logic and you can set up some detection and avoidance, you've got that one. But this is just going to roll over here to this leg. So we can grab this. Back. Let's refine it and get it out of the way. And then once that's refined, it's going to go for the next set, which we know are at these houses. This is kind of like a new build, new base level, so we haven't actually done anything here. Turn it up a bit. There we go, we've got to turn around. So now he's going to rock it down here and it'll go over there. So if you've got a resource collector, for example, let's pull one out. It picks it up. It's in here and now it's on the hunt for the next one. If you can do collision avoidance using font mods you have pretty much got the ability to automate all your harvesting i think that is one of the awesomest things ever any smart geniuses out there if you can work out the logic to do some sort of maze robot you are laughing but as it is i i'm not that smart but let's see where this goes so if i turn this on way he spins around he's in a hurry yeah, I see where he's trying to go. He's trying to get to a leg that's in here, which he's not going to be able to get to. He's just going to fight his way in as much as he can. But unfortunately, he's not going to be able to do it. But what we can do, so we know there's a haybot in there usually. I take this leg, right, and I throw it out here. Hopefully, we can entice him back out and he'll pick it up. I have to pick him up and put him down. And while I'm here as well, actually, I'll hack down the tree. Break this up. Break him up. So we get loads of little rods, and you'll see that the robot is smart enough, hopefully, to be able to go, okay, cool, this is what you want me to pick up, let's do this. He's going to turn around, he's going to go for that leg first, right in front of him. And then he'll come back over here and he'll pick up all the trees. It's a little bit bouncy, but that's my fault on the old suspension, but... There you go. And then he's going to try and go inside, which obviously we know he can't do because he's got no awareness. And basically, uh, these things are they're pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's super, super basic. But like I say, any smart cookies out there, you know how to use this. You know what to do. Just want to show it off what it can do. And is absolutely amazing with these mods. His links are all in the description. You guys obviously know who he is by now, right? If not, check him out. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again. Take it easy. Bye for now. Bye, everybody.